morning. It's Wednesday the 20th of May and it's seven o'clock in the morning. On the Friday before lockdown began, I decided to start running three miles every day. I was aware that much of the usual structure and routine in my day was not going to be there and I felt it would give me some discipline. So here I am on my 61st three mile run and I'm at the top of the field above Chapel Hill in Skipton. One of the things I decided to do on my runs was not to listen to anything while I was running. Usually I have an mp3 player and listen to something I've downloaded. However, I decided to try and be more aware of what was going on around me, to pay attention to the things that I normally miss. Over the last weeks, I've seen all sorts of things. Sheep, rabbits, llamas, cygnets, ducklings and goslings, cherry blossom, apple blossom, hawthorn blossom, cow parsley, campion and wild garlic. I've heard all sorts of birdsong, listened to sheep and cows and enjoyed the chatter and laughter of children and the ringing of their bicycle bells. I've marvelled at the colour of the trees as the leaves have unfolded and I've delighted in the ever-changing sky. I've also smiled and waved and chatted to folk I knew and folk I didn't. I read an article last week about Jane Perrone who works in Bedford and is a keen plant and garden journalist. She's been going around writing in chalk on pavements. If she sees a plant, she writes its name next to it. She said, it's just a way of putting a big arrow towards things people haven't noticed. When I'm walking down the street, I have my plant glasses on. I'm looking in every crack in the pavement. If you start having curiosity, it's amazing how much you see. It's important to notice what's all around us. But there's another level to this, and it's noticing God in what is around us. The hand of the Creator on the beauty and wonder of trees, plants and animals. The hand of our parent God in the faces of his children. The hand of the compassionate God in the needs we see around us and is our, and our desire to respond to them. The love of God in those who show kindness to us. I know that not all of us have the blessing of being outside, but even if we're confined to our homes, we can be aware of God in the news stories that we hear, in the phone calls we share, in the view from our windows. As we notice God, then we can respond in praise, in wonder, in care and concern. I said this was one of my favourite places, it's because from here I can see all over Skipton. When I arrived here about half an hour ago, it was thick fog and I could see nothing. But fortunately now it's clearing and you can see Skipton unfolding behind me. Whenever I come this way, I always pause and pray for the place where I live and the people who live here. Let's pray. Loving God, let's pause and pray for the communities where we live. Help us to notice you all around us, in creation, in other people, in the kindness that we give and receive. May we be aware of your presence and your peace with us today. And a little of the glorious view this morning. <laughs>